Hello everybody, it's Matthew here from our Early On Center. And today I wanted to bring to you a wonderful story. It's called Polly Pastrami. See that big pastrami right there. Polly Pastrami achieves world peace. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And it's by James Proimos. So let's find out how Polly Pastrami achieves world peace. This is Polly, Polly Pastrami. He is eight years old now, but he was only seven when he achieved world peace. Only seven. Polly Pastrami once ate a whole pizza in one sitting. He beat a tiger in a race. Well, Actually, it was a cat named Tiger. And he even kissed by a girl, by his aunt. Yep. But achieving world peace was his greatest accomplishment to date. How did he do it? Polly Pastrami was nothing special. Certainly no more special than you are. The kid had not yet mastered whistling. Trying to whistle, and he's going. He's <laughs> trying. Often, his socks didn't even match. And Polly Pastrami was constantly being picked last for hockey, even when he was the only one with proper goalie equipment. So how did such a boy achieve world peace? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> well, Polly Pastrami started by being kind to small animals. Okay. Tiny little fly, mouse, the duck, and, and then bigger animals like the pig and bigger, ooh, the donkey, and bigger still. Oh, like that great big bear. Right? So being kind to animals. Next, he tended to the earth, watering flowers, saying, hi, Joe. Are you thirsty? And reading to trees, he's reading to the trees, he says, it was the best of times and it was the worst of times. <laughs> and listening to the river tell him stories of long ago. Eventually, Polly Pastrami turned his attention to mankind. He apologized to his little sister for something he did when he was five years old. She was having none of it. So he made her the most fantastic doll he could. Looks just like her. And she immediately forgave him. <clears throat> Next. Polly Pastrami decided to take his cause to the classroom. He began to listen more, listening to his teacher. That's always good. And shared his lunch with Morris Klepnik, who he, when he forgot his, oh, it's nice sharing his lunch. And he sang often, la, 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 la. <laughs> Polly, Polly Pastrami offered compassion to those in need, even to the principal. He says, there, there, Principal Millsap. Principal's got his arms crossed. Doesn't look too happy. So Polly Pastrami offered compassion to those in need. He worked hard. 
He finished what he started. He laughed at himself. <laughs> and he cried with others. <laughs> and Polly Pastrami learned that a misunderstanding could often be settled with a cupcake. <gasps> cupcake. Polly Pastrami's actions had an effect on the entire classroom. Ah. In fact, the whole school was at peace. He was elected class president, class vice president, hall monitor, crossing guard, birthday party coordinator, and best person on the planet. But Polly Pastrami wanted more. Yeah. He wanted world peace. Polly Pastrami went to his parents. I must achieve world peace by tonight, he told them. Hmm, said his mother, world peace? By tonight? Hmm, said his father. Then his father said, that's it. We are going on a world tour. Oh boy, said Polly Pastrami. And off they went in their 68 VW Beetle. That little car, and you see this wagon, it's filled with cupcakes. Filled with cupcakes. And they're off to achieve world peace. First stop, the furniture world. <laughs> ah. After that, it was on to tire world. Ooh. Then sports world. Ah. Next up, toy world. Ah. Then magic world. Polly Pastrami brought cupcakes and peace to them all. Wasn't until Polly Pastrami handed out cupcakes at Mattress World that he realized how tired he was. So he and his father called it a day. I got to see Polly over here handing out cupcakes, people saying thanks. And look at this woman right here. She says, I hear it is as much about the simple act of giving as it is about the cupcakes. I think that's a very good point, right? I don't think we need the cupcakes. I think it's just the simple act of giving. <laughs> and when they got home, Polly Pastrami's father made a big announcement. Now entering your home, Polly Pastrami, the boy who achieved world peace. And Polly Pastrami's mother applauded wildly. Oh, she's applauding. She's going, yay! <laughs> applauded wildly. <laughs> and that night, Polly Pastrami's parents thanked the heavens that they were blessed with such an incredible boy. And a little toast over milk. And in his room, Polly Pastrami slept peacefully. <laughs> Thank you very much. So again, this was Polly Pastrami. Hold on, we'll get that right. Polly Pastrami achieves world peace. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening and for watching. And on behalf of myself and all of us at the Early On, we are so glad to welcome you into our new year. It's now 2022. And we hope to see you all at some time on maybe some of our virtual programs or checking out more of our videos. And hopefully when it's safe, we'll see you in person. Until then, I wanna say thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.